Okay, I'm just telling you now that it's a bit of a difficult week this week because we haven't moved. We're still in Grand Mile and I don't really want That's to waste your time to showing go. you things which is just uninteresting. This time well, I don't know, you might find them interesting. The anyway, so anyway, I yeah, I don't want to I don't want to show you things which are uninteresting, but you might find them interesting and <laughs> it's really just to let you know that we've not really got a proper video this week so just it's just bits and pieces because that's what we've been doing is bits and pieces we haven't been off the boat well that's a lie we have i went and checked in no not checked in i went and extended we went and my visa. Your visa out yeah we went and sorted my visa out because we sorted steve's out last week and i needed mine sorted out as well now so we've done that we didn't want to see that again so we don't really know. Yeah, a lot of nothing. Yeah, yeah, just lots of nothing. We we've done a bit of um. What what would you call it? Emergency. Emergency safety. What? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> With the dinghy. Oh. What would you call it? Rescue. That's it. Rescue. Yeah. We if did you... a little bit of international rescue. Yeah. Um, Some fellow Brits who were dragging. No, not that. <laughs> we've trained. We've been in training. If we ever get stuck out at sea, oh yeah, yeah, without an, without a paddle, or if Cirque du Soleil is looking for a new act. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. I'm, I'm really good. You'll see that in a minute. So yeah, if we ever get stuck out at sea, um, it's an essential skill very and i can't wait can't wait to see um the responses that we get from all the females actually the males it's just as funny with the males so yeah just send us your videos of you doing it once you've seen what it is that they might not be able to do it it's nowhere near as difficult as you think either they might not be able to do it, it might just be us we might have found something that is unique us. We could be called the this flipping sailors. The flipping Cordelians. The flipping Cordelians, yeah. So, yeah, so we haven't really got very much for you this week. It's just a bit of this and a bit of that, and we will, we've got, we've got a Q and A at the end, so we'll do that. Anyway, we apologise now for being the useless videographers. Is that such a word? No, I'm not apologising. Is it such a word? Apologise. Please apologise. Videographer. videographer. That's it, videographer. No, videographer, isn't it? Vlogger. A vlogger. That's it, yeah. Much, much easier. So, yeah, we're crap at vlogging. So, um, anyway, hope you've had a lovely week. And we'll be back to normal next week because we will have some footage some proper footage of what we've been doing and where we've been and what's going on we're sorry we apologize and just enjoy the little bits and pieces that we put together here to see enjoy the crumbs the bread will be back next week oh that's a good one i like that have a good week bye bye we are steve annette and gus and we live on our venus 46 catch we left the UK in 2019, sailed to the Med and now in the Caribbean. Our motto is, we want to sail as far as we can for as long as we can and share it all with you. Good morning. Well, hopefully it is with you. It's absolutely pouring down here. Actually, it's just starting to ease up now. Nothing like that first cup of tea in the morning. Can't drink coffee in the morning. Oh, I just can't. Morning wife. Morning husband. Morning dog. <laughs> Morning dog. Yes. Hey yes. Say hello. Say good morning. Oh, oh, I'm not a morning person. Annette, Annette wakes up bouncing, wanting, oh let's do this. Let's do it. I just... Of course I do. Life's too short to be hanging around and be sleepy no, no, and tired. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me that in the evening. Yes, but by then I've done all the things that I love to do. Yeah, well I'm doing the things I love to do in the evening. Anyway. Watch your neck, watch your neck, Just want to show you. 
a bit of a grey, dreary day today. They did predict this though. They did forecast this though. So we can't complain. It's going to be like it all day today and probably a bit tomorrow. Blue Argolis, some friends of ours, they had come over to say hello and that they were going to the water park to see the sculptures. We were sat having lunch, the wind blew up a little bit and the next thing we know is their boat's on the move. So uh, we went over to see that it was definitely okay and it sort of stopped. Another cruiser came over to help out as well. They stayed with the boat and we shot off to the sculpture park to uh, raise the alarm. Sort it out so the drama's over. We're always aware of where other boats are and if something doesn't look right. And if it doesn't look right, people tend to step in. It's really good, it's really good. Anyway, everything's everything's fine now and we'll catch up with them in a couple of days time. Hopefully around at Prickly Bay. <laughs> as we said before we love interacting with our viewers and supporters we also enjoy having video calls with our patrons vanessa and david here are new patrons and they're looking to move aboard their boat soon and had several questions about our lifestyle and setup if you'd like to chat with us on a one-to-one -one call why not become a patron we'd love to chat with you i was doing a bit of snorkeling when i noticed this net it had actually fallen off of our boat and we hadn't even realised. So I went and grabbed Steve because I can't go down that far. It's just over 10 metres. Almost there, look. Almost. Oh, that's a good thumbnail. <laughs> ah! oh, I nearly done. Oh, yeah. ah! I nearly done it. Yeah, it yeah. Well, it yeah. Work. You were as you was as close as I think you ever going to be to doing it. Uh, yeah. No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right, ready? One, two, three, go. Bloody hell, you did it. Oh my 
my girlfriend's out there, if I can do it, so can you, especially you, Dasher. I want video footage of all of you. Hi everybody. So Q&A, we've got uh, three quick questions this week. First one is from Richard in California and wants to know, have we ever thought about swapping roles? No. No. <laughs> no, we haven't. Quite uh, frankly, no. Short and sweet, it's not happening. Uh, and I don't know enough about sailing. I know, I know lots about sailing, but I actually haven't got the physical strength, have I? I mean, Steve struggles. Don't yeah. You? Yeah, at times. Um, so yeah, it, it's a big, heavy boat, and I, you know, I help out where I can. But to be honest, no, uh, putting sheets and lines on this big old boy is, or big old girl, is. Um, but we also, we it's very easy. You drop into a routine, and our routine is we we do certain things, and that works. And also, um, I know there's quite a few of you that will know Steve actually did do cookery when he was at school, and there is absolutely no way I'm having him cook any dinners, or or his tidy, his being tidy is just a joke. So, um, you know, cleaning and tidying and cooking and yeah, organising <laughs> and planning and all of that, Steve is crap at that, so there's no way that he's doing any of that. There's just no way because well, well, we wouldn't even be in the Caribbean if it if it had been left to him. We'd still be um, we'd still be in Syracuse or in. <laughs> we'd still be Sicily. in Southampton. <laughs> yeah, we would be. So, oh, 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 kick me when I'm down. Kick me when I'm down. So uh, no, sorry, Richard. No, we haven't. We haven't. I'm just not good enough for that, and Steve's not good enough. Are you? If you want to believe that, fine. But Thank you very much, Richard, for that. Um, our next question is from, I hope we've said this properly, uh, we had quite a long email from Ari in Norway wanting to know about our Starlink. A, did we, did we, um, A, how long have we had it? Do we like it? Is it expensive? Would Do we, we recommend it? Yeah, would we recommend it? Lots and lots of questions. Basically, we absolutely love our Starlink. It's not cheap, but... It uses quite a bit of electric. Yeah, it costs us 80, 82 euros per month for unlimited data. So that means that Steve, because Steve does like his TV, Steve can watch Netflix and Prime every night. Um, we can watch as many YouTube videos as we like. And there's no running around every country we go to to go and get a SIM card. And I can check on the weather regularly. Yeah, which is the biggest thing. Every single day we check on that, obviously. Two or three times a day sometimes. Um, the package that we're on is a monthly unlimited data roam package. So when we go offshore or when we're on a longer passage, we, we, what we do is we switch it off and we switch it back on again when we actually get to our destination. We can toggle it on and that will then cost us an extra two euros per gigabyte. Um, at the moment we haven't needed that, but if we were to cross an ocean, Pacific or back across um, the Atlantic, we absolutely would leave it on and just pay the, the two euros for the ability of getting weather, instant weather. And communication. Just We used the Iridium Go crossing the Atlantic east to west and it was good for the weather, but it was painfully slow. Sometimes it could take three or four hours to get a weather. For those of us that have got um, parents still with us and grandparents with us, and we are grandparents, and yeah, speaking to our parents and our kids and our grandkids is- Yeah, it's great. Worth its weight in gold. So yeah, we really, really love our Starlink and we wouldn't be without it now. So Ari, if you're um, thinking of getting it... Highly recommend. Yeah, highly recommend. Okay, and our third question comes from Robbie in Big B. And this is a funny one. Big Robbie? Or yeah, Robbie, Big Robbie. Rob, or Robbie Big B. Gus, get off. He wants to know, why is it you say on a bike, on a bus, on a plane, on a boat, but you say in a car? You don't say on a car. Why is that? I'm going on a plane, I'm going on a bus. 
I'm going on a bike, I'm going on a boat, but I'm going in a car. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. But if, if anybody, anybody knows, knows, let us know. In the comments below. Love to know. Because we have absolutely no idea. Thanks, Rob. That was just a quick Q&A this week. Thanks very much. And we'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye. We're trying to generate a bit of money to get some new cushion covers for our um, saloon. So one of the things that we do need to get rid of is the uh, Yamaha outboard engine. So Steve's managed to get it going. We'd like to welcome aboard Debbie and Carl, our latest patrons. Thank you for joining the crew. We hope you all enjoyed this mishmash of events this week in our crazy life. A huge thank you to all of our patron and coffee friends for all of the support that you give us. We really appreciate it. back there okay I'm just telling you Interesting. anyway so Steve you've got tissue out here you've just left out here oh it must have dropped out of my pocket babe. you know don't do that don't <laughs> don't <laughs> don't Steve <laughs> what you know what <laughs> <laughs> I've got pants on. Stop it, I'm not going to put that bit in. Sweet. Oh, that's a good one, I like that. <laughs> what, what is that? What? It's my p. <laughs> 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 oh, there will be a very long beep there. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.